Hey y'all, it's Laura, and I'm back with another quick 6x6 six six tricks video, this time with four photos. I've had a lot of requests for some more multiple photo layouts, so I'm going to have some of those coming to you in February. These four photos are all of my oldest daughter, Chloe, at summer camp. She was at a scout camp with her troop, and she had a blast. It was her first year doing BSA camp. It's a lot of work, it's very outdoors, very tough, very dirty, and she loved it. She had an absolute blast. And so I've decided to do something a little bit different here. You may notice this is going in a direction that a lot of my layouts don't normally go, and that is because I've been inspired by a lot of layouts lately, so with a little bit of mixed media on a black background. Now, this is certainly not the first time that I've done this technique, but it has been a while, so I decided to go ahead and give it a go with this particular photos, just because they're very outdoorsy and kind of grungy, and I kind of wanted to have a messy look, and she's wearing black in quite a few of the photos, so I thought maybe that would bring some attention to her, because she's not the only one in the photos, <laughs> I thought having this black background, having a little bit of brighter mixed media on it would A, be really cool, and B, also bring attention to her because she's wearing black. So I gave it a go. I will tell you that looking at this layout completed, it takes my brain a minute to adjust to the black background because I don't do it very often. I love how the mixed media came out. I love the placement of everything on the page, but that black background, even now still looking at it, makes me kind of, hmm, <laughs> something's not quite right because <laughs> I don't normally do that. So I did use the Distress Oxide Abandoned Coral to stencil through some hearts and then some splatters, and that's going to land just on the diagonal of my photo cluster here. And I am using the Pink Paisley Mirandum, I think is how you say it, 6x6 six six paper pad that has been in my stash for ages. Some of y'all may have this one. It's an old, old collection that is heavily label influenced and file folder and kind of office themed, but I don't have any embellishments or 12 by 12 papers for it. I just have the six by six paper pad. So I've tossed it into my February kit and I'm gonna try to use up as much of it as possible because the colors are similar, not dead on, but similar to the collections that I'm using. And I'm gonna see if I can use up some of them. There's also a lot of neutrals in this one and that is something my kit lacks is neutrals, lots of bright colors, not a lot of neutrals, so I think it'd be a nice balance. So I have backed two of the photos on opposite sides, one with red paper, the other with a very light teal paper, and so my photo matting is kind of opposite there, and then I have this absolutely gorgeous triangle paper that I really, really like and kind of hoarded a little bit <laughs> in this pack and trying to make stretch. I couldn't bring myself to use two whole pieces of it behind these photos, so instead I'm using it to create tags to fill in some of those areas where the photos have gaps. Now I wanted, I started this layout thinking that I was going to do a grid layout, which if I have more than two photos, if I have three or four photos, I typically go to a grid layout because it's easier. You don't really have to think a whole lot about photo placement, but in this case I thought, no, let's give it the kind of look where an old school scrapbook or a scrapbook that someone who doesn't do it for design reason just wants to save the pictures might create it. So that's exactly what I've got going on here. This is going to have really kind of that camp scrapbook feel, kind of that uh, just very casual put together in a, in a thrown together way. Like the photos just look like they were kind of tossed on the table and it's very, very casual because she is, she's in shorts. She's in, you know, her hair is just a bit wild because you're at camp. <laughs> Nobody cares about your hair at camp. And so I really wanted it to have that kind of a natural, grungy, you know, outdoorsy, relaxed feel, and I think I get there in the end, but it, along the way, I had to really stop myself from adding florals. Now, if y'all have followed me for a while, you know that I love florals. I live for florals on my scrapbook pages, and not using them is really hard. <laughs> especially on my girls' layouts, because I have three girls, and 
I really struggle with not putting them on there. There is one floral that makes it onto the layout, but it's very small and it doesn't even really look like a flower. <laughs> but it came from a citrus twist ephemera pack that was in an old kit that I didn't end up using. And I may have even gotten it in a grab bag or something instead. That's possible. But I, I had these little leaves. I had some random labels and just bits and pieces here. So I decided to go ahead and make those work. That little flower right there in the top right corner by the tags is the only flower that makes it on the layout. So most of what's in here are little bits and pieces that are intended for pocket pages. And I'm making them work on a layout. I didn't want to over embellish this page because I didn't feel like it needs it. When you have four photos on a page, I don't really feel like you need a ton of embellishments. You don't have a lot of space left. And in order to have some of that blank space to offset the busyness in the center, I knew I wasn't going to over embellish this page. So I am gonna create some tags for here at the bottom as well, but they're gonna go a different direction. I thought that was kind of interesting and added to the collage feel of this layout. And it is a little step outside of my normal creating style, but I love to do that. I love to kind of push myself to try new things and challenge myself. If you like to stay in your box, enjoy it. Enjoy that box. That's okay. No one says you have to challenge yourself, but I do like to challenge myself. I think it just keeps scrapbooking interesting to me and it keeps me coming back. It's why I buy or pick out uh, a wide selection of types of materials. I don't use just one brand, right? I will use anything from Annie Tangerine to Chamel to Pink Fresh Studio. I sometimes grab up Echo Park themed kits. I mean, I'm all over the map on what I'll use, but it has to be a collection that really calls to me. In this case, these are bits and pieces from my stash that have been ignored. They've probably been things I've picked up at Tuesday morning or from grab bags, which let me tell you, I have now learned I don't need grab bags. I don't even like grab bags most of the time and I always end up with so much stuff I don't want and don't want to use and so I have just mentally decided I'm not buying them anymore unless it's a company that I truly love everything from like say Coco Vanilla where every collection I've loved or I would say probably Paige Evans would be a safe one. Uh, Pink Fresh Studio has some older collections I don't like but their current ones are great. So if it was a current grab bag from Pink Fresh, I'd be on board. But if it had older stuff, I don't love <laughs> a lot of that. But it is nice and bright, and that was the other thing, is having this black background, I thought, really made the photos pop because the only embellishing is right around the photos, and it's bright. It lends itself to making those photos kind of stand off the page, and the background dives into kind of a shadow box look. And I really, really like how that turned out. Now, all of these little bits and pieces, these little leaves, these hearts, all of these came in this little citrus twist pack, and it's just perfect for project life, but I made it work on a light. I am going to add a border around the outside of this because I felt like it needed a little bit more of a frame. And so I'm going to cut up another piece of 6x6 paper from this paper pad to use as a border, which ended up being kind of tricky and I didn't think about it when I was cutting it up, but it was a chevron and I cut the chevron in half. And so sometimes the lines don't go the same way. <laughs> And so I had quite the time trying to convince this to line up just the way I wanted it to. And I also didn't want to draw attention away from the photo, so I picked a fairly neutral paper to use. So it adds a frame, adds some definition to the page, but it doesn't pull your eye away from the photos. I didn't embellish this frame either because, again, didn't want to pull attention away from the photos. I'm not worrying about journaling on this page, which is very unusual for me because this is part of a two-page layout. I actually do a lot of two-page layouts and you will see them in my flip-throughs in my albums is I actually do a lot of them, but I don't do both sides at the same time. I find that overwhelming because it's 12 by 24. And for me, that's just too much space. And so I tend to do layouts that coordinate side by side, 
but don't match and don't have a continuous look all the way across. And because I use those large D-ring albums, they're not going to be next to each other anyway. And so that continuous look actually kind of looks a bit broken and odd in those albums. So that's why I don't do that anymore. Now I am using a white gel pen to do a quick outline between my frame and the black cardstock. And I kind of like how that looks again, adds to that sort of collage casual, put together, like as if a teenager made it. Does that make sense? Because this is how I used to scrap when I was a teenager, because I've been scrapping for 20 years and I'm not that old. <laughs> But this is how I used to scrapbook. I used to do some very, very simple backgrounds and then almost in a mood board style where you just grab bits and pieces, things that inspire you, things that you like, and just attach them to a cork board. Did anybody else used to do that? I used to have one as a kid and I loved it. If I found pieces out of a magazine, pictures, or just colors or little bits and pieces, you know how kids have a tendency to pick up trash and by trash, I don't mean actual trash, but you know, just junk, you know, pennies or <laughs> flowers. I was that kid and I would pin them all to this cork board of things that I liked. And I really feel like that's ingrained into this layout and I really like how it came out. I hope you have enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you use black cardstock for a background on your layouts? Until next time, bye.